and welcome to Joe, welcome to the session today where we will be running through the financial ratios. So thank you for turning up this morning. Um, what we'll do is we'll work through the different financial ratios, we'll work on the different questions. And if you've got any questions, obviously, please do ask as we go through and I will answer them at the end. Okay, we'll swap over now to our questions and make our way through. So task one then, Irvine Limited had revenue for the year end of the 31st of December 2013. We'll go with of 1,540,000. Its cost of sales for the same period was 635,000 and other operating expenses were 742,000. The total equity of the business was 3.4 million and non-current liabilities were 288,000. Calculate to two decimal places the following ratio. So we've got gross profit percentage, operating profit percentage and return on capital employed. So let's just note down the formulas for each of these and then we will work through the actual figures. So first of all, we've got gross profit percentage will be the gross profit over revenue times 100. Operating profit would be the operating profit over revenue times 100. And then return on capital employed would be the operating profit again, but over your capital employed. which is made up of your equity plus non-current liabilities. Okay, with that in mind then, what we can do is we can plug the figures in and let's get our percentages and return on capital employed. So for the gross profit then, we would do here, we can see that we've got sales of 1.54 million. Less cost of sales, 635,000. Okay, that gives us a gross, our gross profit figure. So let's just calculate that now. So that gives us nine hundred and five thousand gross profit. It would therefore be putting the figures into the formula nine hundred and five thousand over the revenue one point five four million times one hundred to give us 58.77. So we can enter that in. Right then, operating profit percentage. So again, we just need to calculate our operating profit, which would be the sales, or take the gross profit, either one really. Take the gross profit might be easier, so 905,000. Minus our operating expenses of 742,000. Gives us an operating profit of 163,000. Okay, so it will be the operating profit over revenue, 1.54 million times 100 would give us an operating profit percentage of 10.58. And then lastly, for the return on capital employed, it would be again the operating profit, which we now know is 163,000, divided by our capital em employed, which I've said is the equity 
plus the non-current liabilities. So it would be therefore 3,688,000 times 100 to give us a return on capital employed of 4.42. Fantastic, right, moving down to task two. So for this one, we've got gross profit percentage, operating profit percentage, gearing, and inventory turnover. So I won't write out the formulas for gross profit and operating profit again, because I think we've got these now. However, I will write them out for gearing and inventory turnover. So gearing is debt over Debt plus equity times 100. Inventory turnover is cost of sales over inventory. So with that in mind, let's calculate each of these and input the figures. So the first one would be the gross profit percentage. So take our sales, less cost of sales to get the gross profit. Five hundred and fifty two thousand over the revenue to give us a gross profit of 44.16 then for operating profit we take our gross profit again so 552 less the other operating expenses of 312,000 to give us operating profit of 240,000 over the sales times 100 gives us an operating profit of 19.20. So let's just enter in now our gross profit percentage and operating profit percentage. All right then, gearing then. So we've already said that the formula is debt over debt plus equity. So it would therefore be 685,000 over, try that again, over debt plus equity, so over 685 plus 1. Five five zero oh. times one hundred would give us a gearing ratio of thirty point six five. Now the inventory turnover, a nice simple one, cost of sales over in inventory would therefore be six nine eight. over our inventory figure which is 85,300 which gives us inventory turnover of 
Fantastic, right, okay, hopefully nothing too complex there. So we can now move on to task three. The most recent statement of profit or loss. Hi there, and thank you for watching the video. If you're new here and passionate about everything accounting, then don't forget to subscribe and give us a follow. We're proud to deliver the best standard of support to our students. We have bespoke student materials, exclusive AT unit videos, award-winning tutors, and so much more. Make sure to follow us on our social platforms to stay up to date with what we're working on. Thank you.